Hugh is fun. Um, and, it, and it really is one of those where you don't know, because you prepare separately, right? And then you come into a scenario where the preparation is really just kind of the back of your head because we, the way guy works is that everything is really in the moment. The, it's kind of chiseled into place on the set. And so you can prep how you want and then he preps how he wants. And I didn't really realize the dynamic we were going to have until we got put together in our first scene at the, on the yacht. He's a very definitive filmmaker in the way that, you know, people have certain styles and they're known for, for a certain kind of film. Although he, he's been keeping us guessing, you know, for the past 10 years um, with his switches of genre. But I think what, what I really like about Guy is that he is so um, authentic about, he almost has a sixth sense. You have to be on the same frequency as him because he has a sixth sense about what rings true. And the truth can go any which way, but it doesn't matter which way the truth goes because he's clear about what he wants. So you go there, so which is fun because quite often, you know, the normal filmmaking is you get the script, everyone prepares, and it's everyone's on the page that was made from the very beginning. This one is, is like, it might be that, it might not be that, it might, might be so much more. People are nice, you know. You kind of always trust a director whose team has been there for many films. It means he's doing something right because he treats his people well. And you always trust that. Um, and, and because everyone around you is really comfortable. Because at first it, it can be quite daunting, you know, especially when there are actors who've worked with him. So it is a kind of uh, brotherhood, you, you know, there's, there's history between them, so you always feel like, oh, new kid on the block, so let me just, you know, keep my head down and, and you know, insert myself in there, but, um, but because they're so warm and friendly and, you know, make, you're just comfortable, you feel very free to do your job. Good people trying to do bad things and bad people trying to do good things and both sides are trying to outfun each other. Amelia's job is to protect Greg Simmons, Hugh's character, um, in every way she can. Sometimes that means protecting him from himself. <laughs> Um, but I think she, I have this thing in my head about her that she, um, I read this line before and, and I think that perfectly encapsulates Amelia, which is that there's nothing more scary than a woman who is focused and unimpressed. And so far in this film, she's never, she hasn't smiled at all, <laughs> you know, so I feel like, mm, and that's part of the foil for everything that you can do because it's just you know it's really hard to not smile when he's riffing you because he goes off piece and you're just you want your smile you're laughing from deep inside and it wants to come out and you can't because in character it's just like withering the whole time you know um but yeah no i have a lot of fun with her so uh Well, Jason and I only had the one scene in the whole film, but he's so lovely. And also because we had mutual friends who he's worked with before, who's worked with Guy before. Um, but I did, I, I did ask them and, and, you know, I was like, oh, you know, what's it like? And to help me get an idea of what I'm in for. And then they said, oh, yeah, I'll tell Jason, I'll tell Jason, you know, to look after you. And then so then I, I went on set and then sure enough, he was just like, oh, you know, so he knew me, um, knew of me. And uh, no, he's just a lovely guy. Um, 
yeah, he's, he's a lovely guy. You know, he's so good at what he does. Um, and to, to actually see it and then to be acting beside them, you're just like, oh, mate, yes. <laughs> I'm in the right place. Um, but yeah, I, I wish you had more to do, but it's, it's just in the film. It's the nature of it.